So as you can see, as he is holding the bottle, the spring is being pulled up because the duck is less dense than the water and the water is pushing the duck up, which is making the spring stretch. As he lets go of the bottle, the upwards force that was pushing the duck up is now no longer there and therefore the spring contracts. Again he is holding the bottle, the nut is pulling down on the spring which is making the spring stretch because it's more dense than the water so it's going down within that water and it is making the spring stretch. And when he lets it go, we can see that now there is no longer any weight to that nut. The weight is now gone and there's no force pulling down on that weight. So now the spring is the only force there and the spring now compresses. And as the spring compresses, the nut is now pulled up by the spring. Because now the nut, even though it's still more dense than the water, it's no longer got that downwards force on it. Here we can see a ping pong ball, it's less dense than the water, it's being pushed up by the water. The spring, because it's being pushed up by the water, the spring is stretching. And when he lets it go, we can now see that the water is no longer pushing up the ping pong ball. And so now there's no upwards force pushing the spring up. So now the spring contracts and pulls down the ball with it because there's no forces acting on them. Again, evidence that they are not accelerating, that it's not the density relative to the medium that causes the force, and that the forces disappear when they are in free fall.